Our last stop on our search for crazy conversions takes us up the Pamlico River to the quaint town of Washington, North Carolina. This massive double loft spans 7,000 square feet with five bedrooms, soaring ceilings, and river views from the private rooftop terrace. Owners Scott Campbell and Bill Sykes first saw the town of Washington on a boating trip and decided they didn't want to leave. We love living downtown. It always was our objective when we decided to purchase a building that it would be a downtown residential type setting. The men got a triple treat with this property. Built in 1912, the building originally housed a shirt factory. Then in 1924, the local fire department moved in. It was the fire station in town until 1965. After three years of work, the pair turned the upstairs area into two separate apartments, the East Loft and West Loft. The West Loft was set up with two bedrooms and two bathrooms with a very large open floor plan for kitchen, dining room, and living room, and then a mezzanine level that serves as a home office, and the really important part of the uh, mezzanine level is it allows access up to the rooftop terrace. The West Loft has a traditional feel, enhanced with old world accents, such as the kitchen mantle's corbels. Across the open space in the living room, the fireplace holds an emerald onyx surround made of a single piece of stone. The large windows, 33 throughout the home, provide a view of the street below and are a favorite part of the home for Scott. It was a really unique opportunity to have a space that had such great light potential. And part of that was due to the 24-foot ceilings and light monitor called a clerestory. The master bathroom contains artifacts from the building's past, like the original transoms and one of the light fixtures from the dance hall days. The globes were intact, and so we were able to just put on new wiring and install the lights. They found another blast from the past. These bandstands from the USO now hang in hallways between the two apartments. When Scott and Bill began upfitting the East Loft, they decided to pay homage to the firefighters who called this place home for so many years. This is the fire pole hole that the firemen left behind when they vacated the building. What we did was we had a medallion commissioned to honor the firemen and women who were here during its history. And it's the Maltese cross, which is the symbol of uh, service personnel in the fire department. Scott and Bill are now in the process of moving into the East Loft. The larger space is minimal and modern, with three bedrooms and three and a half baths. Eyes are immediately drawn to the soaring ceiling, from which a large art piece hangs. The original red oak floors, with some planks over 18 feet in length, have been restored by a local craftsman. The kitchen is of a European high-style design and boasts a three-slab cold spring granite countertop. Whether visiting the East Loft or West Loft, the immense spaces feel comfortable. Though the space is quite large, it has a really comfortable feel. We did not want it to feel vast, and the feedback from friends has always been that they come in and they feel that it's a welcoming, warm living space. Scott and Bill see their lofts as a hub for the history of Washington by hosting guests from the building's past and new friends who witnessed its revival. The pair hope to keep the heart of this fire station burning for decades to come. So when it's time to give that same old house or cookie cutter condo the boot, just remember, with a little luck and a lot of hard work, a tropical sugar mill or a gothic clock tower or maybe even a magic bus could start to feel just like home.